Hey you guys, I'm back and today I'm going to talk to you about some um about a product that I have been using lately for the past probably about two and a half to three weeks or whatever because I want to be sure about it. So the product that I'll be showing you today is by a company called GoSelly. I was contacted through email from um from the company to review some facial masks. Um, basically the sheet mask, facial mask or whatever and they did want me of course to review and give my honest opinion on um, on what I thought about the mask. So the masks are from, um, they are the Glam Up Collection masks. These are some of the ones that I have used and the pack that they sent me came with 12 masks in them. So me personally I'm kind of I'm kind of iffy when it comes to skincare because um, lately I've been having a lot of trouble with my skin where it just breaks out especially around my cheeks and I believe that's from me touching my face like my chin and stuff is mostly from me touching my face and being outside touching animals and you know dirt and not cleaning my face like I should even after wearing makeup throughout the day. I'm not even gonna lie sometimes I do sleep in my makeup but I've been getting better about that. So like I was saying, the um, the masks are from the Glam Up collection. Um, they are sheet masks. And I want to tell you, I'm a, you know, I don't know what I'd be talking about half the time. So um, first get into this. The mask came in this little bag that came in a regular box, you know, that people send in the mail or whatever. And out of all 12 masks, I have four left. And one in particular, which is the Nourishing Shea Butter Mask, I am terrified to use because um, my skin doesn't react well to shea butter. I mean, for the for the review, it probably would have been great for me to use the shea butter mask, but I didn't want to risk having my face break out or, you know, just having a reaction to the shea butter. Um, it probably would have been great for me to use it just to see if I would react from the shea butter or not. But I don't want to, you know, jeopardize the rest of the review just by using the Shea Butter Mask, you know. So, um, if you want to know, the Shea Butter Mask is for intense moisture. Um, it came with an avocado mask, and the avocado was for wrinkle care. Um, Radiant Tomato, this was for skin brightening. Soothing Aloe, which is for texture refinement. Um, tea tree, which is my favorite thing to use, is tea tree, y'all. So I was really excited to get this mask. And it soothes the skin, um, soothes skin damage. Um, the next is Revitalizing Sake, which enhances radiance. Next we have Firming Pomegranate, which is a, it says it has a barrier function. And this mask smelled amazing. I think this is one of my favorite ones. Um, actually, no. This one smelled really good. But my favorite smelling one was the Nourishing Acai Berry, which gave you dewy skin. And I can say that when I used this mask, it really did make my skin feel glowy and dewy. And it felt really moisturized. Actually, with all these masks, my face felt really moisturized. So another one that I got was Clarifying Oatmeal, which protects and stabilizes your skin. Refreshing Peppermint, which is for skin purifying. This one, I got a little tingle. It felt a little cooling when I used this pe the peppermint one, which I like. I enjoy having like mint things on my face because it's very cooling. Um, next we have Brightening Lemon, which is for a vitamin surge. I like lemon stuff too. And we have Refreshing Green Tea for wrinkle resistance. So, uh, one thing that I did like about these masks, they gave you extra... Um, they gave you extra product in the packaging, so if you can see, if I can get the camera to focus, this is the packaging, it is a sheet mask. Um, it also comes with this little tab right here that you can cut um, and get extra product out of, which I thought was very smart, even though on some of the packaging, the little, you can't rip it with your hand, but sometimes the little rips don't meet up to where the bottom of the package can't even explain it. So, you know, this part, you can't get anything out of that. The slits kind of don't meet up to where um, the package starts with the product in it. 
So this is where it starts and this is where the little cut and dents are. That's the only thing that kind of bothered me about the packaging, but it's very smart that they put that there because you can always go back and use more of the serums if you feel like you didn't get enough or if it's a new day and you just want extra moisturizing effect, you know. So within this video, I will insert some clips on, you know, how on the steps I use, such as washing my face and also um, applying the mask and removing the mask, how my face looked after it. And you could really see like the moisture on my face. Um, I will insert some of those clips throughout this video while I'm talking about the mask. Um, and also at the end of this video or in the description box, I will list um, the links. I don't get anything from the links. They're just there in case you want to easily get to the products or whatever. Um, so on these packages, it does give you, I probably take a picture of it and post it somewhere somewhere I don't know but it does tell you that it's a three layer sheet allowing deep moisture grip um the sheets are pretty thin but they're thick enough for you not to rip them unless you're just being very aggressive with the mess now I had one and I think it was the one that I used in the demo of um using the mess where I actually did rip the tip because I was pulling so hard on the side I don't know why I was pulling hard but I was so yeah, I did actually rip one of my masks, but it wasn't too bad to where I couldn't use it. Um, but it tells you to use the mask after cleansing and to leave on for 20 to 30 minutes before removing. Now, some of the masks I did leave on for 20 to 30 minutes, and there were other days where I kind of forgot, I not really forgot I had the, the mask on my face, but I just want to see if I can keep it on longer for like an hour or until when I thought the mask was dry because after 20 to 30 minutes most of the masks you still have a lot of moisture left in the mask and they're they are very drenched so yeah mm. as usual with anything you put on your face it says for external use only avoid contact with eyes keep out of reach of children and discontinue use if signs of irritation or rash occur so I don't think I had any like you know any irritations or rashes that appeared on my face but I did have a time where I did get a break out of my face but I believe it was from using dirty makeup brushes because that's actually when it occurred was when I started back wearing makeup then my face kind of broke out but after I used the tea tree mask it kind of got it all together so um I really did enjoy these masks I did write some things down so I wouldn't forget like when I use some of the masks. Um, but like I said, the masks smelled really good. They were really refreshing. And I know on the Glam Up Go Sailor website or well, um, Facebook page, they do give you some tips on how to use these face sheet masks. With the masks, um, they tell you that you can put them in the fridge. So if you have really irritated red, you know, just burning skin or whatever, it's just really irritated. You can put your mask in the fridge or if you just like the cooling effect on your face, you can put it in the fridge um, for a couple of minutes and just pull it out, put it on your face and you'll have a nice cool mask that, you know, will soothe all irritation. And it's just very soothing and it feels good. One thing with the mask even if I didn't put them in the fridge, they all are pretty cool and kind of, you know, we're relaxing. It's very relaxing to take time out of your day to pamper yourself by putting face masks on. So, um, for me, using these masks for the past two and a half, three weeks, I really did enjoy them because they did help me dedicate time to myself to, you know, sit down and relax. Just chill and, you know, wear the face mask and also you know, help my skin out. So it was a win-win for me regardless. So um, if I didn't say, which I think I did, um, two of the masks that I really enjoyed, well actually I enjoyed three, it was the tea tree, which was the last one I actually used, the peppermint and the acai berry. Um, the pomegranate did smell amazing, but the acai berry was the best smelling mask that I had. They all had their own individual scents, which you think they probably won't, but they do. They have their own special little scent in them. It's not overwhelming, and it doesn't, you know, irritate your eyes or anything. It's very subtle. Um, so the, the acai berry one I found dried faster, 
and even using like the extra serum on my face I felt like it absorbed faster than all the other masks that I used and I could actually feel that one drying on my face but when I put it on it did stick better and I kind of felt like my face was tightening with it so with the peppermint which was one of my other favorite ones it had the cooling tingle to it and it kind of it almost semi dried in 15 minutes which I found you know it's pretty quick but slower than SIE or whatever and oh what I forgot to mention was I was able to actually multitask with these masks on because they did stick to the face pretty well because they were so drenched and the sheets are thin yet thick enough to hold a lot of moisture so once you have the sheets on your face it was pretty easy to walk around and go about your day doing whatever like if you're not jumping around or just doing some crazy stuff the mask will pretty much stay on your face it won't just slide down like most masks, cheap masks or whatever kind of mask you use would do so you didn't have to actually lay down or you know just freeze your day to use these masks so yeah if you would like to pick up these masks I will include the links on how to get straight to them I don't get anything from the links not not of my knowledge or anything but it's just there as a quick reference if you would like to try out these masks it doesn't hurt the masks are like a dollar a piece so you can get 12 masks in a set for about $12 or less or whatever on Amazon is pretty cheap because you know when you go to a makeup store or any other store you're gonna spend at least like two dollars on a mask so or more actually masks cost a lot especially sheet masks so yeah if you would like to try those masks I will put you know the links in the description box below so make sure you check that out um, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I tried to make it pretty quick. Um, hope I didn't ramble too much. But yeah, I will will be posting more videos soon this month. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.